Bill and Ben are twin tank engines. They are cunning, charismatic, and very cheeky. They nearly always work together. One day, Bill and Ben were traveling through the countryside, pulling a heavy load. Down the line, Trevor's attraction engine had been struggling with a cartload of hay. Crossing the tracks, the cart's wheels had broken off. Then Trevor heard a whistle. Oh no! Trevor cried. Bill could see the cart. Stop! He cried. Bill's driver applied the brakes, but it was too late. Luckily, no one was hurt. Stop being pushy! Bill snapped. Don't call me pushy! Then stepped back. You shouldn't have pushed me into the car! Huffed Bill. You pulled me, you mean! Hugged Ben. Didn't. Did not. Did too. You can't prove that. For a long, the track was cleared, and Bill and Ben were on their way. The twins were so cross, they refused to speak to each other for the rest of the day. The next day, the Fat Controller needed an engine to help Derek at Osbridge Harbor. My go, sir, Bill said eagerly. I only need one engine, said the Fat Controller. Not two. I am only one engine, sir, said Bill, and I would like to help Derek. The Fat Controller was surprised, but agreed. Edward was worried. Won't you miss one another? He asked. I work better on my own, sniffed Bill. I have work to do, huffed Bill. At first, Bill enjoyed working with Derek. And then things started going wrong. Did you put those trucks on the other line? Bill asked. He said you wanted them on the other line. Derek replied. Not that other line, the other other line! Bill was cross. And might have known I meant, he huffed. Ben was working on his own. He chuffed dutifully through the beautiful countryside. But Ben had no one to share it with. Although he tried not to, he was beginning to miss his twin. That night, Ben's driver told him to see Bill. I was just passing, said Ben. Have you come to say you're sorry? Bill sniffed. This made Ben very cross. I'm just thinking to say sorry for, he said, and he steamed away in a huff. The next day, Bill was in a bad mood. Some workmen could see he was getting too close to the buffers. Look out! One shouted. But it was too late. Bill's driver was very cross. Oh, this wouldn't have happened if you were working with Ben, he said. Bill knew he was right. The workmen quickly ran to the station to tell the station master to send for an engine. Derek's at Wellsworth. I'll see if he's free. But, but, I can't. I, I have to take these trucks too. Just then, Ben puffed in sadly, finishing his work. Oh, Derek, what's the matter? Bill's fallen off the pier, said Derek. Off the pier? Ben cried. I'm on my way. And he steamed off as fast as he could. Ben struggled and struggled. He finally pulled his twin gently back on the rail. He was relieved Bill wasn't hurt. Thank you, Bill said. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, no I'm sorry, insisted Bill. Don't have to argue about how sorry, chuckled Derek. Just be glad you're back together. And they were. <laughs>